to our GMA Olympics headquarters in Sochi, ABC's Amy Robach, leading our coverage at our Olympics desk at the opening ceremonies get underway. There's the picture uh, she yeah. tweeted when she arrived. And now she's taking us behind the scenes. What was was it? Elk? What was she eating? I Earth? think it might have been. I'm in the I'm in the clubhouse with Elk. You're in the clubhouse with Elk. What were you eating, Amy? Do we know? Oh, you, you're gonna have to wait for it. You're gonna have to wait for it. It's coming. And I should mention, on that picture, it was a moment of victory for me to reach Sochi. It was quite a long way. And while our main job, of course, is to keep our eyes on the games, there is a Sochi you won't see while watching the events on television. So we went inside the city's most fun, unusual, and hottest spots. And it all began with that mammoth plane trip. All right. My journey to Sochi, round two. A labor of love. Five cities, four airports, traveling 6,426 miles over 30 hours. I even celebrated my birthday during my layover in Frankfurt. My loving family back home singing to me over the phone. We left the airport and we're walking the streets, we're shopping, duty free of course, and uh, seeing a city I've never seen before. So kind of a nice little detour before we head to Sochi. Mm -hmm. Filling up right now on the sights and sounds of Frankfurt. And then the final flight. Looks like we're making it. And after a drive on the now infamous $8 billion highway, with the Black Sea behind me, the Caucasus Mountains in front of me, and the five rings above me, welcome to Sochi. So what should you do once you're in Sochi? <laughs> Head straight to the famous bathhouses, or banyas, to relax with a honey massage. Rinse it off with a bucket of cold water and hop directly into a tiny hot tub made for one. Hungry? Head to a restaurant for Russia's famous kebabs and kachapuri, traditional feast breads. But if that's not your style, you can always head to this walk-up McDonald's. Nightclubs are always popular, but the open air markets are more my scene. Kiwi and apple. Apple. Getting it. I'm getting it. What's this? Aha, so you guys thought it was gross meat, like elk meat. Nope, it was dried fruit candy. There's nuts inside here. It's called turkella. And I bring some back, but I don't think it's going to last. We have three weeks here and a pretty hungry crew, and you guys didn't seem too interested anyway. <laughs> no. I, I, I was hoping it was an elk. I was more interested when it was elk. Uh, but you're looking great there, Amy. <laughs> I know you're going to be there all Thank you. the time for us, so we'll be checking back with you throughout the days. So have a great weekend, Amy.